What is going on people? So we have a new update for February the 20th. This is an end of season update as well as a character update. We have a new hero here called Lydia. Lydica is what her name is. And uh, we actually have seen this character in the side story for Roses May Bloom here. And she's also in the Phantom group when you do your uh, right there Phantom CIC. That's the achievement group story that when you uh, have to read all that about Zez and all those people, she's in there. So Lydica is a fire elemental ranger. Can lock up targets through numerous buffs. Public execution decreases the combat readiness to zero and decreases speed while increasing the survivability of the caster by granting a skill damage immunity debuff. Thornbush can decrease hit chance for all enemies for certainty when soul burn and is even more powerful when used in synergy with Lydica's combat readiness decreasing basic seal. So her first move is Wild Rose. And th this is the awakening skill. So after awakening attacks with a sword decreasing combat readiness by 10%. If the enemy is debuffed decrease combat readiness by an additional 10%. And her uh, special here is a three turn cooldown, Thornbush. Actors attacks all enemies with an 85% chance of decreased hit chance for one turn. Soul burn consumes 10 souls, ignores effect resistance. So this is very likely to happen. And then we got her ultimate which is called public execution. Active cooldown 5, lowest 4 turns. Attacks the enemy with a whip sword and decreases combat readiness by 100% and decreases speed for 2 turns. Grants the caster skill null nullifier, negating damage received from the next skill attack. This, as you, if you haven't played with against uh, this woman in the side store, she's really a big pain in the butt. Every time she attacks, you're basically. Slow, 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 and you're always getting pushed back. It's very annoying. She's an annoying character. New artifact, Sword of Judgment. Sword of Judgment is a 5-star artifact for rangers. And it has a 10%, up to 20% chance to attack again with a basic attack if the target survives a single attack. It can only be activated once per turn. So you have a 20% chance to attack again as long as you didn't kill them, so that's pretty nice. He is going to be a regular convenient banner summon, so she's not limited, so you don't have to worry about that. As well as uh, Tambourine, she is also going to be now in the convenient summon, so if you didn't get her, maybe you can get her for free. Special side story, so the roses may bloom. Week 2. Chaos of the Tyrell Castle continues in week 2 of the special side story, so roses may bloom. Make your own sweet story with the new heroine in Epic 7. And that's going to go until uh, 3-6 on a Wednesday. Use the map movement arrow button on the world map to access different days and try to get the bad, good, and special endings. Gonna have secret achievements and through them you're gonna be able to get these things here. So we got a 71 crit amulet and it looking pretty nice to me. Got a crit hit damage, health attack, crit chance, and effectiveness. This is a nice a very nice necklace for people who don't have better than this. 71 is obviously not the best, but it's going to be very useful for people. Uh, so, and also has the 71 rose coronet. And I believe this is probably like a ring. The speed set, health, attack, defense, and speed. So I'm not sure this is like the best thing you can be doing. Health and attack and speed those would be good things or health defense and speed would also be good things but since they have attack and defense on this i'm not really sure 
they kind of go against each other in my opinion. Bonus event currency. So the love potion is for last week and the sword of judgments for this week. Not much else to say about that. And I've already said this tambourine girls move to the convenient summons. Arena season 1 has come to an end and preseason has begun. Information about season 1 end date has been removed from the arena story mode. And then we got the store here. A timer displaying the next shop list refresh has been added to the Powder of Knowledge shop. Shop list will refresh every 18 UTC on Wednesday across all servers. Next shop list refresh Wednesday, February 27th. With the end of Arena Season 1, Unknown Slate, Gladiator Axe, Gladiator's Armor, the whole, all the Gladiator set are going to be removed from the Conquest shop. Unknown Slate will return to the Conquest shop when Season 2 begins. Players who purchase this item in Season 1 will be able to purchase it once again after it returns. This is a, amazing. In case you guys didn't know. Hopefully you either have a bunch of these saved up or have already bought this thing. So the Unknown Slate we got right here. And what it does is it, it increases the Votion skill grade of a starting star grade 5 hero when used as an enchantment ingredient. And... If you don't understand what that means. Whoops. I have lots of it's in, it's in time. here, right? I actually, uh... I have to scroll down, but it will be the very top thing here. And it costs 2700 Right there is what it is. Right in the arena shot, in the conquest points right here. So you have to do this by the end of the day. Or by reset. If you don't know exactly what it does, go to details on my Luna here. And right there we go. So this is what it does. You go into whatever's here and put it inside of it. And then that will increase it to a B like it did for my Luna. So that is really nice because I'm assuming that if you get a second one, it'll go from B to SSS, maybe SSSS. This is the basically a free to play way to not have to buy so many bookmarks that you need doubles of all these characters. Like, it really has SSS, but you ha I had to feed all the like six of her or something like a crazy number of herself into herself. So. UI improvements have been made to the categories in the shop, battle, etc. The space shop has been adjusted. Heroes, an issue has been fixed in which when battling against Devourer Arch Archon with Tamarine and the team, Tamarine used the skill Shining Star while the unable to be buff debuff is applied. She would not transform into her idol form. So, okay, so she's going to be good in that fight now. Not useless. Chaos Secret X jump animation has been adjusted to look more natural. When auto battle is active, Mascot Hazel now uses her skill Urgent Regen slightly more often. When Mascot Hazel uses Girl in Uniform, existing increased attack greater buffs are no longer removed. Oh, that's a good thing. The tool tip of Mascot Hazel's skill, a Girl in Uniform, has been slightly has been made slightly more clear. When auto battle is active, Rose will now use her skill Shield of Light. Even if no allies have debuffs applied. So we got the a battle. The description for the buff stealth has been updated. Before it was if there are allies, Kessler will not be targeted of attack damage received from the AoE attacks decrease effect is removed one attack. And now it says cannot be targeted if there are other allies. Takes minimal damage during AoE attacks and is disabled once hit. There are no changes to the skills themselves. At the start of battle, Comet Readiness Variation that can be gained according to the speed stat of a character has been reduced from 10 to 5%. Guilds. When not in a guild and viewing the guild screen, information displaying active activity rewards has been viewed. In Guild War, the effect that displays when building is destroyed now displays in the correct location. 
An issue has been fixed in which errors would result when a player tried to leave the guild at the exact moment they were promoted to guild leader. Wonder how often that happened. In the recommended guild and guild information series, the weekly assistance number now displays correctly. Guild war matchmaking has been improved so, it, so to provide opponents with more similar amounts of victory points. So that's nice. Don't want to get blown out every single time. Reputation. Achievements for Wyvern, Golem, and Banshee Stage 11 has been added to the Phantom CIC achievement list under Reputation. Side story and exchange the bookmark screen no longer overlaps. Blah blah blah. Bellinia's hidden achievement has an issue and it has been fixed in which the story that is meant to appear before battle did not play. Players who were unable to read the stories previously can read it by checking the extra stage epilogue. Luxury Shopping District on June 3rd. The readability of stage titles that displayed on the stage info has been improved. Account reset. Players who have reset their account will no longer appear in member list in the previous guild. An issue has been fixed in which heroes who have who are connected to an account that has been reset were unable to access social features. UI and bug fixes improvements have been made to the tutorial. Is players when you first enter the Ray Lambeth Royal Capital. Okay. You cannot complete Yuna's connection mission. Reach friendship level 3 with Hazel using mascot Hazel. Oh, that's pretty good. A description of the new enchantment effects skill nullifier has been added to the game guide. Text wrapping is now correctly implemented in the chat window. Tamarine's pre transformation portrait that appears in camp and side story is now animated. Improvements have been made to the Esmeralds Hunter's Web Spray effect in Area 1 of the raid. After a rune combine, the total number of runes you have will now automatically update. Okay, that, when I first started doing this, that really screwed me up. I wasted all my runes updating, uh, combining and didn't realize because it wasn't updating. There is no longer text overlap between stone icon and enhance effects. When a hero receives an effect in a battle, the occupying text effect will now follow the hero. That's good. The effect that causes the game to freeze momentarily when entering a side story or adventure after starting the game has been fixed. Improves have been, improvements have been made to fix the artifact skill level UI. And an issue has been fixed in which when the game language is set to English, certain text was turn, truncated or overflow from boxes. So that is the patch for this week. If you're gonna pull for this Lydica girl, let me know. She seems very good, especially for speed manipulation, which is a huge thing. Hit chance is also very nice, so I'll see you guys next time.